G'day guys, how's it going? My name is CJ. Bluetooth speakers are everywhere today, and for those that love technology, you really can't go past certain models like the UE Boom. But for the everyday person who just wants the convenience of having a wireless Bluetooth speaker for when they're in the shower or out having a barbecue with mates, they might not want to fork out the money since they can get pretty expensive. So obviously there are cheap and nasty Chinese alternatives, but are all of them really rubbish and not worth your time? Let's find out with these cheap and cheerful speakers I've got today. They're called the X3. No idea what brand they are, but trawling through your Chinese gadget rabbit hole websites such as Gearbest or Banggood, you can find a single speaker at certain times for only 7 Aussie bucks. Links will be in the description below. So I've got a couple of them in black and blue, and as you can see, they come in a pretty basic box. But despite its small size, it actually packs a lot of features in FM radio, USB, the ability to receive calls, it has an aux in jack, and can even read MP3s from a micro SD card. Flipping over in order to save paper, they've basically stuck half of the instruction manual on the back with a schematic diagram and the specs. Unfortunately here, as you can see, it rocks the old school Bluetooth 2.1 standard. But in terms of streaming, it'll do just fine. Cracking open the box, you get the speaker, a small Chinese instruction manual, and an odd micro USB to a split aux cable and USB A port where it'll both receive an audio signal and charge the speaker. The speaker itself has a nice soft touch plastic shell, and despite its origins, doesn't actually feel that cheap since it has a little bit of weight to it. It doesn't have water resistance, but then for 7 bucks you're not really expecting it to be. On the back, you have your micro USB port, USB A port, micro SD card slot, and a power button on top. And interestingly, if you wanted to, you can actually open the battery compartment to see the removable lithium ion battery, which also interestingly is the same model that some old Nokia phones use. So if you've got an old Nokia phone lying around with its battery, there's some use for it right there. In any case, powering it on for the first time, the speaker starts off ready to pair and is as easy as finding it in your menu on your mobile or laptop. Once it's connected, it gives a familiar ding that I've heard in a bunch of other Chinese made Bluetooth speakers and you're good to go. Controlling volume and tracks is a little odd. You have to hold the plus or minus buttons to adjust volume since pressing the button once will trigger skip and rewind functions. The sound itself is actually surprisingly decent for its size. The highs and mids are decent, though there is a bit of tinnitus when you pump the volume up and the bass begins distorting at higher volumes too. It obviously doesn't beat more expensive speakers such as the Yui Boom, but then at 7 bucks, you're realistically not going to be looking at beating that kind of quality in the first place in both sound and battery life. So it's not really a fair fight if we're comparing these speakers to speakers that are more than 20 times the price. So the X3 should really be assessed on their own merits. As a $7 speaker, is it more than 20 times worse than a speaker such as the UE Boom? I don't think so. For most people, the sound quality will likely more than suffice, and its small size makes it a great companion for when you're on the go. At home, it does well as a way to pump music or podcasts when you're in the shower or bath. So, is it worth it? For $7, if all you're looking for is an easy to use and portable Bluetooth speaker solution, then hell yes. And even if you didn't want it, you could use it as a great option for birthday or Christmas presents. That's part of the reason why I bought two of them. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, smash the like button, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Say good day to your mum for me. Cheers.